Hot flashes are a well-documented part of menopause, but there are options for managing them. Dr. Mary Jane Minkin has some advice. We're here today to talk about hot flashes, which in medical ease is known as vasomotor symptoms, which is something that happens to many women as they go through the menopause transition. About 80% of us will experience hot flashes. And unfortunately, the median duration of these hot flashes can be about 7.4 years, with unfortunately many women having them for 10 years or more. What's going on is that a lot of changes are happening in the body. And when people say it's all in your head, a lot of it is indeed happening in your brain, at the base of the brain, someplace called the hypothalamus, which is our internal thermometer, basically, as far as our temperature control. And there's an imbalance going on, which leads to the hot flashes. When the hot flash happens at night, we usually refer to it as a night sweat, but it's basically the same thing as a hot flash. And these are very important and very uncomfortable for women, which is why I'm really happy to be here with the folks from Stellas sponsoring this educational session for you. There are some things that women can do. Don't feel that you can't do anything about it. There are simple things, lifestyle stuff, keeping your room cool at night and getting an electric blanket for your partner so that the person doesn't freeze. There are also things like dressing in layers during the day, which can be very helpful. Take off that sweater if you're hot with a nice shell underneath it. And then there are some other important health things that actually help with hot flashes. For example, smoking cessation or cutting down really helps with getting rid of hot flashes, as does weight loss to get to your ideal body weight. So there are a lot of things that women can do. We, I always encourage people to really pay attention to these and talk about them. Talk to your talk to your, your friends who are also probably dealing with this but are afraid to talk about it. Talk to your healthcare provider. And very importantly, there's a really nice new website called whatsvms.com. So again, that's whatsvms.com. That's these hot flashes. A lot of really good information for you to help you deal with them and help communicate with your provider. Take care now.